hello welcome to my channel my name is Beatrice and today we are going to look at that makeup you can do uh, when you're going to your workplace uh, or any other official place you're going for a business meeting something like that but you need to look bomb so that just in case there are pictures that are being taken you smash that 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 picture so uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and if you haven't commented what you want or you feel there is something that you want to learn please comment it below and give the video a thumbs up thank you as usual i normally start with my eyebrows but it doesn't matter uh well which part of the, your face you would like to start with so as you can see i prepped my face already my skin already so the only thing that i need to do is just doing the makeup uh, most of the times when you're going to you're, you're doing your eyebrows for such a meeting you need to make sure that um, you're not looking tough or oh, your eyebrows are uh, signifying a certain mode because in your face it's the eyebrows that show a certain mood you may get tough but if you you, you don't you know see how this if you do such eyebrows like when they are straight you're depicting a certain mood but if you you try to elevate your eyebrow and make it a key it is a different story so long bye bye so long Goodbye to my pain and the lockdown. So long, bye bye. So long, bye bye. So long, bye bye. Like I told you guys, you don't need to cut your eyebrows. See how my eyebrows, you know how my, you saw them from the beginning, how they looked like. they were messy actually there is my my eyebrows they are fluffy and they are everywhere but i don't cut them i don't trim my eyebrows yeah i know you should but if you don't have much like me and i don't like doing that eyebrow that is from the light to the ombre eyebrow, I should say. I don't like doing our ombre eyebrows because at times they don't take this stupid. And I don't know where you guys get the ombre eyebrows. Okay. Okay. Let's try to highlight the eyebrows. So that we can snatch the look when you're highlighting your eyebrows you have to use a shade that is one shade lighter than your skin Don't stress it if you don't have a concealer. 
you can use your your foundation as well you should be having two shades of foundations reason being that um, one is used when you turn because we all turn at a certain moment during those times of uh, summer okay <laughs> oh, sunshine I, I don't know how in Uganda how we call it but uh, during the sunny season <laughs> we all turn As you can see the eyebrows are done in a three minutes but if you want to make them uh, up to 20 minutes it's all right so to begin with uh, I'm going to do this I don't know but if you have concealers it will work amazing amazingly fine so here I'm going to use this concealer what I'm going to do is to first highlight then I contour and then I powder just some simple makeup just highlight that area Obviously, you have to highlight it with uh, concealer. Okay, even this place. If you want to, and this, the reason as why we highlight this area is to make it sharp pointed for those people with a round face. So I'm doing it for all 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 the faces, not putting in mind the shape of my face because with people people with my uh, shape shape oh face shape sorry uh, you don't need to highlight this place because already you're having those de defined joints your lines that are bringing up the defined the chin line chin bone Okay, the reason as why I'm using this brush here is because it is a concealer blending brush. Isabel is awake. As you can see, 
now our face is coming out okay let me go and check on isabel hi okay uh, i'm back with isabel <laughs> i don't know i'm going to try to serve two masters at a go okay after highlighting those places you then start blending those places with your foundation Emma. Mm. You can see the way I'm, uh, I'm applying my foundation. You're supposed to apply your foundation when you're, when you're going down. All the little bit more. Yeah. Yes, Mama. Yeah. Yes, we. Yeah. 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 Mm. Foundation. Mommy is applying foundation. Okay, for the cases of contouring, start with that nose. Hmm. Okay, Isabel. So here you can see my nose is starting to snatch. We want that snatch to glowy hoey look. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Snatch it. Glowy hoey. Okay, stop doing this when you're contouring. No, please, don't do it. Because that does not define exactly where you're supposed to, to, to contour. Okay. Okay, let's blend now this area. Yes, mommy. Okay, 
Maybe because I have a big forehead, I forgot oh, yeah. to also apply some contour there. Oh, yeah. You can try to contour that area. If, just in case you have a big forehead, if your forehead is not big, please don't. Okay. How do we contour the nose? After drawing those lines, Okay, mine are not really perfect, but they should be thin, small lines. The reason as why, the reason as why they are not thin is because uh, the brush is fluffy that I've used. And another thing is I have Isabel. I cannot reach another brush. This is how you contour. Yeah. Try. Try to blend your nose when you're going up. Okay, after that. going to try and contour to make a shadow here because my my skin like there is some skin there like um, quite bigger if I turn you can see I'm a little bit beefy there but to make my jawline sharp You need to control that area. Okay, in my video there are some questions. Keep quiet. Uh, but don't don't worry. This is the only time I got to do this video, and I had promised so many people that I'll do this video for them. So after doing, after blending with your lines. Area that needs to be clean. Then let's try to I'll try to put a blush. Blush, you just twist it when you're smiling. And then we are going to highlight. But before highlighting, if you want your skin to look really glowy, get try to get your setting spray. Get your setting spray. Uh, spray a little on your brush, and then tap into your gold deposit just in case or any highlighter that you have it necessarily it does not necessarily mean that you're going to use gold deposit and then highlight those areas that need to be highlighted
thing when you spray your brush it brings that glow on the highlighter and it makes it look natural and it doesn't make it look um, so like um, popping like uh, as if you are a clown When you're highlighting, don't forget to highlight the brow bone. You can see that glow. I guess you can see that glow. open my things please don't try to close them try to highlight also the lip edge highlight the lip edge highlight the brow bone highlight the nose and the cheekbone okay after that find which lipstick you would like to use on this makeup like on I prefer nude because when you're going in a meeting and you put on okay you can as well put on because your dark skin if you're dark skin that is you can put on a, a, red, a, a red red lipstick so um, after this what else oh I have to apply powder The powder you have to apply has to be minimal. You don't need to exaggerate your powder. Don't over exaggerate your powder. It has to be minimal. And um, that person who loves, I love uh, brown eyeshadow because this is a nude look. So first, we have to put a transitional color. For me, I'm putting orange as my transitional color because all dark skinned people orange is your transition of color mainly there are also other transition of colors but if you're really dark orange is an amazing transition of color mm -hmm. you will excuse me i'm with isabel She's not making my life easy at all.
And when I'm doing an, a natural look, I don't like putting shiny eyeshadow on my eyes. Make sure whatever you do, up the eyes, what I do. My place, they are shouting. Okay. I wish I can repeat this video because people are yelling outside. Isabel is disturbing me. This I'm trying to make my lips smaller, a bit smaller. Isabel, I want to put you down. Neda. Neda. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> now I'm not smiling. Hmm. Yeah, we are not friends yet.
please avoid putting on lipstick and you put a dark liner on top of your lip lid that does not exist okay it existed in in 1930s but now come on it's not that trend see now my lips are quite vegan My lips are quite a vegan. The lip line I'm using is chestnut lip cancer from Mark Cosmetics. And after okay. I go to hang some katang. Boda. You see how I did it? Put your lip gloss on the edges of your lips to give them volume and then just put a little bit just here. And lastly, we are going to do a lip liner. No, not the final eyeliner. But before we do the eyeliner, I would like to spray myself. <clears throat> Don't spray yourself while you're close. You need to be, it has to be a meter apart. Eyeliner, I don't know how to put it on <laughs> when I'm on camera. Look bomb with scab. There we go, eyeliner. No, don't touch anything of mine. And now, in Sulam Katanga, so in Songarachi, Boda Zaysa. Now I must get in the buckle. So be they can. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You need to get down. Oh. 
okay if you like you can put on lash extensions if you don't want to you can just put on a mascara just in case your mask your okay Isabella just see okay you can just put on mascara if your lashes are quite longer didn't I do? It's a wig time. There we go. Yum. Mama, how come you're having my cover? hello and this is our final look so oh don't put on this earring you can put on pin also you can put the ones that are not glittery and you're going to work <laughs> and i like putting on one earring because isabel pulls my earrings so this is our final look and yeah thanks for watching uh subscribe if you haven't if you're new uh give the video a thumbs up and comment below sorry today uh, i've been so fixed i'm in katanga people are constructing people are making sigilis chocolate stores <laughs> um boda boda are passing by isabel katanga girl she's also passing by so yeah Oh, what I forgot is uh, was um, uh, putting a little bit of a highlighter in the corners of my eyes. Isabel, don't touch anything of mine. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is the last tip. Uh, make your eyes pop out. Okay. Without talking a lot. See you soon. Say whatever you want to. I think um, Fiona, you can have a look at this video and use it to use your products. <laughs> Maybe if that is the correct English. Isabel, don't laugh at me. Uh, I never invented English. Okay, Mama. Okay. Bye bye.